this time we'd like to demonstrate our new software. It's professional version 6. This is our old program right here. I'll open it up and you can see in this center is a image that would appear in our old software showing you the bulb application. Now I'll open up the new software program. I've got it installed right up here in the left hand corner. This is the professional version 6 and you'll see instead of an image we tell you the name of the program, how many sessions you would run for how long, related programs, we have a feedback rating, tells you which bulb to use and where to put the grounding. We also have links here. For example, this video link is called Line Protocols 2014. This directs you to our website. You can submit feedback. We have also online support and additional resources where you may find other programs available. Now we've replaced the open button with an open program button here in this particular version. So I've got my mouse up here. When you click on that, it takes you to all of our programs. So within the program here, for example, I could pick appendicitis. And here again, it tells us how many sessions, related programs you could run, as well as the uh, application, which bulb to use. And uh, in this case, we have a link. It's entitled Appendicitis in Children. It's a video and uh, additional resources as well. Another feature here, I'm going to go back and click Open Program, and I'm going to move my mouse to the right. You're going to see a search bar here. So, for example, if I type in the word Lime and I click Search, it'll take you to all the programs with the word Lime in it. So, all together, we counted over 2,400 programs, but you can see we have numerous programs for Lyme disease. So, if you wanted to pick one off the list, you could. So, for example, here I'll pick one of these programs. So, we'll take a Lyme Disease Fundamental, and I'll click on it, choose Open. It opens up right here directly from our list, which is really a nice feature. It's important at least once a week you click the Update Frequencies button, so we'll ask you to do that, and this is what it looks like. You see it's updating now. And so this is overwriting um, the old catalog of programs, but it will not overwrite anything you created. So any programs from GRS scans or different information, that will still appear here. Another feature here, let's say you're actually running a program. So I'm going to click Open Program here again. And I'll pick, uh, well, let's take Acid Reflux 1, for example. And so I'm going to click Run. And the program is running. Now, channel A down here displays the exact frequency. It's 142 hertz. And let's say you want to know what that frequency is related to in the ripe world. I'm going to click the little DB Hits tab down here. It's blank right now. And click the Memorize button. And once I do that, it'll show the relationship of that frequency to other conditions that that frequency is used for in the ripe world. So those are just some of the features we have. We have a few more I want to show you here. I'm going to click Stop. So I'm going to click Open Program again. And let's say I'm in a subfolder. I'm going to go back, for example, to the, the Lime Protocols folder here. And I'm going to pick a program out of here, for example. And let's say I want to go back to that folder. Instead of hitting Open Programs and having to navigate through that folder to the next one, you can click File open and it takes you to the last place you were where if I click open programs again it takes you to everything so you can see the difference there we also have a repeat button here to the far right if you click that it'll repeat the program three times in a row another unique feature is the stacking of programs so watch this I'm gonna click open program I'm holding down the control key on my keyboard and I'm just going to pick three programs with that key held down. And I'm going to click the Open button. And guess what? They're all stacked right here for you to run. And if you want to save that program, you could click File and Save As and put a name on it. So these are just a few of the unique features of our software. We hope you will use the Submit Feedback button. 
for those of you that upgrade to this to help us continue to give a rating of one to five stars depending on the feedback we get as well as to share other information with other users. So thank you, we hope you benefited from this video and we hope you enjoy this new software program.